Hey my loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikita. If you are new here, I am so excited to finally be kicking off the decorating series here on my channel for Christmas 2024. Today we are going to be styling our console table that we kind of have as a sideboard tucked away in our dining area. So I'm super excited. Uh, our dining area has like two entryway points, so two sight lines throughout the house where you can see this table, one from when you walk in, and then the other through the kitchen and living area as well. So I'm super excited to be decorating this area. Whether you have an entryway table or you call it a sideboard, console table, doesn't matter. It's getting decorated, okay? So for the love of decor, enough rambling, let's go ahead and get into look number one. Starting off with a clean slate, I love starting off this way before styling. On the dining table, I just have some simple ornaments in a bowl that I shared in my last haul. And if I can link anything, it will be linked down below in the description box. So to begin styling, I wanted to start off with the mirror. I just knew I wanted to add something here. And I'm going in with this 9-foot cedar garland. I absolutely love how lightweight it is. I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. And I'm just tucking it in on both corners of the mirror, creating a simple swag. And I wanted it to hang longer on one side than the other, kind of cascading down the mirror. And I absolutely love how that turned out. But I'm not done there. I do want to add some of these picks that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. For each pick, I broke down into about two to three pieces and just went ahead and secured that throughout. It was super easy to do. Again, lightweight. And I love the look that it gave. Definitely playing off of that icy type of glass type of feel. And I love when the light hits it. It almost looks like it's lit up. Next to the corner, I'm adding in this beautiful deep red velvet ribbon that I also picked up from Hobby Lobby. I just love that pop of red, especially for this year. As you know, I did share I'm going for both red and burgundy touches on the tree. So I definitely wanted this first look to reflect that. Now over to this side of the table where the garland on the mirror is the shortest. I knew I wanted to add some height with some greenery. So I'm going in with this vessel that I elevated on a coffee table book. I have two Norfolk pine stems in here as well as one cedar stem. So I bent these stems to my liking, manipulating it for it to cascade the way that I want it to fall. And then I also added some of these deep burgundy berries to this. I also got that from a cluster from Hobby Lobby as well. I just picked it apart so that I can create this beautiful arrangement. And I love, love, love how it looks with it. I am so obsessed. But I also added these picks as well just to finish the look off and complement the garland up at the top. So pretty much working in groups of threes, I'm adding these two stacked books and then I knew I wanted to elevate these bells. I did cut the jute uh, rope that it came with because I knew I wanted to add this ribbon to it or have them there. So I'm just pretty much showing you how I tie this ribbon. I am not making a bow on these, but I just simply wanted to add a bit of ribbon to it. I think that this is just a beautiful touch. Again, velvet to tie into the garland as well. It's not too much, but I'm also not leaving them um, just bare. And I love the way these look just standing up right next to each other. One is taller than the other. There's so many ways you can style bells. I just love this simple elevated look. Now over to the other end of the table, I am adding in my lamp here just for some added height and of course some light. And this way the light can shine down on this nativity set that I love so much. And that concludes look number one.
now for look number two which is more of a neutral aesthetic i am keeping that garland up at the top but i did remove the red bow and then i'm using this same planter but with a mini tree for additional height this is actually only the top half of that viral walmart tree it worked out pretty well in here and then i'm adding in those bells again just leaving them bare but one is linked against the other for a styling moment under the tree and then i'm using my favorite decor piece ever it's this beautiful brown marble scalloped tray and i'm adding these light up village homes from target that i've had forever and a little neutral brown tree i love the way that turned out it's so pretty and then here i'm adding in those same stack of books to elevate some candles and I'm going in with these gold candle holders from Hobby Lobby that I painted a while ago. Also, the candlesticks are from Hobby Lobby as well. And that concludes look number two. And that concludes today's decorating, my loves. I really hope that you enjoyed from start to finish. I hope you've gained some inspiration. I know that things can get a little hectic around the house, especially during the holiday season when you're in the thick of decorating. <laughs> Trust me, I can relate. But starting small, starting with that table that you have in the home can really set the tone. And I'm so excited to be kicking it off with this video. If you are not subscribed, make sure that you are. We have plenty more to do. We've got the Christmas tree, the fireplace mantle in this room that I'm in right now. We also have the kitchen to decorate as well as another living area to decorate as well so i hope that you'll be joining me down below please let me know which one was your favorite i'm having a difficult time choosing i'm really eager to know which one was your absolute favorite don't forget to hit that like button because it lets me know that you enjoy this type of content from me and i will keep coming back so until next time happy decorating i love y'all so much i'll see you later bye